Hello everyone, this is the Prussian Prince uh, with another Total War Rome 2 tournament match cast. This is the Cup of Nations uh, first group stage, group 2, match between myself, playing as Lusitani, and uh, Maximus of the M Clan, not Maximus Decimus Meridius, the famous YouTube commentator for Total War. And uh, of course, uh, person makes a lot of mechanics videos. Hasn't made a lot of videos recently, but he has posted the uh, tournament matches, uh, in particular my matches as well, of, from Championship of Russia. So you should definitely check those out. I'm glad that he's still making videos for uh, Total War, even though it's not at the same pace as he was before. Really nice to see him uh, still making videos. But yeah, let's get back to this game. So, uh, Maximus is actually playing as Nervi here, whereas I'm the Lusitani. And uh, let's go over the compositions. So I have my uh, general here. On the left flank, Lusitani Nobles, Bronze, two gen. With, he is also strategist. Again, two Lusitani Nobles on each flank. Then I have a, a bunch of veteran shield warriors, four of them in the center. I also have four Scutari Cavalry in total and four of these Iberian Slingers. So fairly standard composition that I brought here uh, in this match. Now for uh, for Maximus, he has a Noble Horse General with... Uh, he's a commander actually. Then we see a Mighty Horse on each flank, so just two Cavalry units in total, very interesting. And of course the standard six Levy Freeman, because why would you not bring them? <laughs> And at this point, I was just very, very scared of all these Levy Freemen. I thought I would lose this game, but we will see what happens. Then I have, uh, I mean, he has uh, an Oath Sworn on each of the flanks. And also a bunch of these Fierce Swords in the center, four of them. So if you look at the Sword Infantry Contingent, actually, I can only see four, five, six of them. But soon enough, I think you'll be able to see the rest. Okay, when you finally see the skirmishers, he has four of these Gallic Hunters. I mean, he's gonna be able to win the skirmish fight against my Ar Iberian uh, Slingers, actually. So that is a pretty decent engagement for him, actually. Very nicely done. But I'm gonna try and send my Scutari Cap up forward to kill his uh, missiles. But just look at how quickly his Gallic hun Hunters destroy me in the skirmish engagement. This is a very, very good engagement by him, actually. He's just crushing me in the skirmish. He has, actually has like one, two, three, four, four, five, six. Yeah, it's basically, no, is it? One, two, three, four, it's five Gallic Hunters. This is insane. He has so many skirmishers. Here I kind of make a mistake and my Iberian Slingers are moving awkwardly here. But I'm gonna pull back and I'm gonna send this cap forward. I uh, don't know if I'll be able to stop the charge, but it seems like it's just gonna barely connect, not kill anyone, so that's good for me. I'm still trying to engage here, but my slingers are getting completely destroyed by his Gallic Hunter, so at this point I'm like, oh man, I'm in such trouble. So I pull back my center because I don't want to get shot to pieces by Gallic Hunters. I'm flanking on the right side and on the left as well. Here I get a really nice scav charge off onto his Mighty Horse while he is... Uh, Facing me with the rear, so I essentially attacked him in the rear, and I'm doing a lot of damage with my Scutari Cap, so that's good for me. He's gonna support with every Freeman, but I mean, this engagement here is just gonna go much better for me because I've got the Sitani Noble support. Also, spreading out my Veteran Shield Warriors a lot more, so I'm gonna be able to cover more ground here. Here come my Lusitani Nobles. I mean, yeah, he has Levy Freeman support, but it's Levy Freeman support. Uh, and he's actually gonna come in with an Ilsorn. That's bad for me, but I have two Lusitani Nobles. I shouldn't really be afraid of it. Also, targeting it down with a Slinger. Sending more Scutari Cav around. This engagement over here, I mean, initially, it's not gonna go so well for me, but with support, I'm gonna win that. His support is late. Targeting down his Gallic Hunters here, so I'm turning around the skirmish engagement somewhat. Here, his Levy Freeman, as you can see, they're getting completely crushed. Made a mistake here with the Levy Freeman, actually. He should have just kept them in the back here so they would throw out my Lusitani Nobles. That would be a very good engagement for him, but he did not do that. Should have just thrown javelins with them over and over my Lusitani nobles. Here, as you can see, I'm trading really well against his units with the Lusitani nobles. Just in this blob, the Lusitani nobles are doing well, and I'm also sending in veteran shield warriors. 
Here he's gonna go in with Fierce Swords, and I'm gonna pull away, not sure if that's the best move. I'm gonna engage his general here, but Skhtari Cavalry gonna die to Noble Horse. I've also started the engagement here. Not the best though, because I went into all these units, and yes, they're not gonna get charges off most likely, but I just made a massive blunder there with my cavalry. I'm gonna get into his Gallic Hunters here though. I'm gonna continue pushing forward with Veteran Shield Warriors here. As you can see, I'm gonna pull away so I can get a good charge off. I'm gonna stop this Gallic Hunter, as you can see, very nice jab volley as well. Here his Fear Swords are gonna lose to Veteran Shield Warriors. And my infantry support here is just ma winning me the game here. As you can see, his Levy Freeman, no chance. I'm gonna pull out the Skatari Cap as he loses his Oathsorn here. Look at this slinger, 18 kills against Oathsorn is very very impressive. Now his Oathsorn here has gotten completely crushed on this side, hasn't really done much, whereas my Lusitania Noble is still alive, this one too, getting a lot of kills on the field. Still my general is alive here, and the Lusitania Nobles here will have no problem killing off this Levy Freeman blob. But he is shooting at me with all these Gallic Hunters into my general, not the... It is the shielded side, so not most effective for him, but I'm gonna push him away with the Scaver unit. And with some veteran shield warriors, as you can see, the levy freemount on that flank are dying. I still have a lot of these veteran shield warriors. He's pulling out of this fight here, which isn't great for him because it gives free kills to my veteran shield warriors. Making a mistake here with this uh, Skatari cavalry, I'm not sending it in. But here, the Lusitani nobles against levy freeman. Well, we know who's gonna win that. Also, engaging his general now with uh, my Skatari cavalry, and he's gonna go down because there are very few, uh, uh, few men remaining in the general unit. Also pushing forward with Iberian Slingers, trying to get a good position to fire at the rear of all these units and also trying to shoot at his general. But he has his Gallic Hunters around here. Probably soon I'm just gonna go for some charges on them with my cavalry. Looks like I'm not actually doing that, because, but that would be the best choice. Uh, I, it looks like I'm just gonna go for a rear charge. That's also a valid option. But yeah, finally it looks like I'm just gonna go for the Gallic Hunters with my cavalry. But this one is looking very good for me. As you can see, this uh, Veteran Shield Warrior dying, but it's against an Oathstorm, so of course. But my Nobles will just finish that up without a problem. And as you can see here, Nobles just still tanking it out, still getting a lot of kills. I've got more Lusitania Nobles just uh, supporting this fight and surrounding. So my Lusitania Nobles here are just trading so insanely efficiently here against all these fierce swords right now as you can see the fierce swords are just going down very very quickly to the Lusitania Nobles. I mean Lusitania Nobles are just such good units the only problem that they have really is that they're uh, kind of slow and they have like really high I mean really low armor which means that the missiles uh, will take them out very very quickly as you've seen in uh, previous videos of mine with Lusitani Nobles. So beware of missiles when you use Lusitani Nobles. It's one of the biggest... Uh, one of the units that can actually knock them out of the field. But yeah, as you can see, at this point I just have quite a decent amount of units left. And it is the end of the game. Just look at the kills of the Lusitani Nobles. As you can see, they have really proved their worth, even the veteran shield warriors and the slingers have done a good job. Basically, most of my units did well this game, except for my cavalry. I really failed with my cavalry this game, but uh, yeah. I mean, even the slingers, considering the, the start they had, they did pretty decently. Uh, because in the beginning, they just got completely destroyed by the Gallic Hunters of Maximus. As you can see, Maximus, he did get some kills with Levy Freeman, but I mean, they just... He could have used his Levy Freeman so much better, I believe, against my cavalry. Uh, he did actually use Levy Freeman nicely against my cavalry, but not on all occasions. I was still able to get good charges off with my cavalry and annoy his skirmishers. And as you can see, I just completely destroyed one of the old storms he had on one flank. So let's look at it this way. Another reason why he lost is because he only brought six swords when the max is eight. I don't understand why he didn't just take two more Oathsorn. Go four Oathsorn, four Fierce Warriors, Fierce Swords. I mean, that's a valid option that he could have uh, taken. He could have also gone two Oathsorn and six Fierce Swords. I mean, I really don't understand because... Uh, wait, is it max four of the same unit? I have to check the rules uh, really quickly. Give me one second. Because, uh, let's see, 
Yes, yeah, it's, it's max six of the same, so he could have just as easily taken six fierce swords and two old sworn, or four old sworn and four fierce swords, or even like a mix three old sworn and five fierce swords. So I really don't understand why he didn't just go for the the max amount of swords he could have brought because I mean, really, this just doesn't really make any sense to me in Rome too because swords are like best unit in the game essentially but yeah that is uh that is the match so hope you all enjoyed don't forget to comment rate and subscribe follow me on facebook twitter and google plus share the video and i'll see you next time